guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while since I uploaded a video um, so I thought I would come in with a bang and share a thrift haul with you guys this is a collective thrift haul that I've been um, I've been shopping for I want to say like a few weeks I haven't been able to put this stuff up on my closet just for like family stuff going on but I wanted to show you guys what I got because I'm really excited about all of the items that I've been collecting and yeah, so let's get started. So we are gonna start with uh, accessories. So let's see. So first I got this really cute croc, faux croc belt, super cute. Actually I kinda wanna keep this, but I'm not. Um, then we have this really cool belt. I think it's like a wrap style belt. And this is a really good kind of dupe for the uh, Gucci belt with the little initials. And yeah, this is really cute with jeans and a t-shirt. Really cool, I love these. I actually think I might keep these, I'm not really sure, I haven't decided yet. Um, these really cool Stuart Weitzman, very minimalist flats. They're suede and they are in really good condition. I feel like they didn't even wear them that much and they fit me. So I think I might keep these. I don't have a really good pair of just like basic black flats. So I don't know. I think I might, I might add these to my closet. <laughs> if you see me wearing them, then that means that I, I kept them for myself. So let's go into athletic wear. So I have a few pieces and this first one is this Athleta just workout top, basic workout top. These Lululemon black leggings, cropped leggings. These are always, these always do really good. And, that's that. and then I got two Lululemon um, sports bras. Sorry, I'm like, this is, I haven't done this in a while, so I'm kind of like out of it. And these Athleta cropped leggings. Again, this is also does really well for my store. And these other Athleta leggings. So that's all for athletic wear. So now I'm gonna go into tops. So I picked up this really cute leopard sweater. I think it's super cute, especially right now that animal print is doing really, really good. And this basic Zara striped turtleneck. And it has this really cute lettuce edge, which I really love. Adds a cute little touch to just, you know, like kind of boring turtleneck. Then I picked up this gray Sincerely Jewels distressed um, lightweight sweatshirt. It's not really thick. So there's that. Then. I picked up this really cute band tee dress. I can't wait to style this and add pictures to my closet. It's really cute. And this is a new brand, which I've never really heard of, but I really liked the print on it, so I picked it up. It's called Local Boogeyman. I don't know, but it says Mad, Mad, Mad Monster Late Show. I it was really cool. So I think this is unisex, so a guy or a girl could wear this, you know, if it's your style. Then I picked up this really pretty dress. I loved how different it is. It's got a lace, um, sheer lace top, and then it has these angled leather pieces. It's actual 100% leather. It's super soft, and uh, yeah, it's kind of like a pencil dress. And then at the back is even more fun stuff. It has this inlay of lace. I don't know if you can see that. It's a uh, split towards the back. I think it's super cute. So yeah, I thought it was, I picked it up because it's really different. Uh, it's definitely vintage and it's a size nine. So maybe I'm hoping I can squeeze into it. <laughs> so I can really show it off. It has a very deep V, which I really love. It's 
So we'll see how it does. It's a chambray shirt. Again, it goes really great with white jeans and booties for kind of that spring, springtime where it's not, not like full spring, but you still wanna, you know, look cute. So then we have, I do pick up men's here and there, just depending on the style and then if it's a good brand. So I picked up this Ben Sherman button up long sleeve for those guys out there who are interested or for your man, whatever. On the same page, we have this Lululemon men's V-neck workout tee, which this is really a surprise because I've never really picked up Lululemon for men, which I thought was really cool, so I picked it up. Then we have this really cute, Oh, this is another one that I want to keep, but this Rolling Stones band tee. Oh, look at how cute that would look. Oh. Now it's 2013, so it's not like a super vintage shirt, but again, it really hits with that grungy band tee look. Okay, so then I picked up this really pretty, it's hard to show uh, free people dress, maxi dress. <laughs> Kind of hard to show. And it's got this halter style top. I think this would be really, really pretty for summer with some sandals. Perfect. And you're set, you're ready. Okay, let's move on to sweaters, which it's actually been kind of cold here in California. So I have really enjoyed wearing turtlenecks and sweaters. Normally I don't get to, but this season I was able to. So that kind of inspired me to also pick up sweaters for everyone else who's also going through kind of like polar vortex situation. It's mind boggling. I heard that up in Seattle, it's snowing. They call it snowmageddon. There's real shit going on out here with this weather. So if you don't believe in climate change, just, listen to your local weatherman okay so first turtleneck we have this madewell gray sweater again great basic to have then this madewell super super soft and really cute color dusty pink again i want to keep so many of these things it takes a lot of me to not keep all of these super cute thing because like look at how cute this would look. Oh, love it. Anyways, so this is really soft. Uh, I wish you could see but super soft. 
So I picked up this Free People, size large, oversized, fuzzy cowl neck sweater. Again, really, really cute. And I believe it's, it's semi-cropped, so like, let's see. Yeah, I feel like it would be, no, it hits about normal length. But you could tuck it in with, uh, again, with one of these, like with this belt. Oh, that would look so cute. So stylish. Okay, so now we're moving on to denim. I didn't pick up that many jeans because they take up a lot of space in my inventory boxes. So typically I like to um, bring in jeans and then move them out as quickly as possible and then bring in uh, more jeans because it's really hard to uh, store them. So that's why I only bring in um, just a few at a time. So I picked up these 501 uh, light wash jeans and these do surprisingly really well for me because of the trend right now of wearing vintage denim, which I totally recommend. I love grabbing like a pair of these and then um, taking them to a local tailor and making them custom to your size. So depending on your calf size or your thighs, you can really like make them to fit you perfectly however you want. So that's what I've done. And that's why I think a lot of people buy uh, vintage denim because they can make it however they want. Then I picked up this pair of one teaspoon denim trash. <sighs> Sorry about that. Denim trashed jeans, skinny jeans. We'll see how these do. I have a two pairs right now up and they haven't sold so I might throw a little sale up. So in another pair of jeans, these are Free People uh, semi-high-waisted. I don't know what to call this wash. Can you guys see? It's like between a black and a gray. I can't really tell what it is. If you guys know what wash this is, please let me know down in the comments below because I would love, 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 love to know. I never know whether it's black or gray. On to outerwear. So I am putting up, if you guys haven't recognized, this plaid blazer, oversized blazer. And um, yeah, I'm putting it up on my Poshmark closet because I'm trying to make room in my closet for other items. So I will be giving that to you guys. Uh, I figured that I had a lot of outerwear, so I got rid of um, the plaid oversized blazer. And then I had this denim, again, like that weird gray dark wash color. And it's oversized, and you can definitely use this as a layering piece. Like, I think this would even look really cute with this sweater that I have on right now. Just to like add a different texture. That'd be really cute, actually. I don't know, I might keep it. What do you guys think? Okay, so another jacket that I found was this Max Mara. Um, what are they called? Puffer jackets? Yeah, that's what they're called. And it's a little bit longer. It hits about the hip length. And the there is no, which again is really good for people that are wearing turtlenecks and whatnot. So yeah, it's really lightweight. Then I found this crew neck sweatshirt that I really thought was cool looking. And it's by Deuce X Machina. And it's a little bit longer. And I looked it up and it's, I believe Urban Outfitters sells this brand. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, Cool print. It's actually not a print, it's embroidered on the sweatshirt. And it's in really good condition, so. And then finally, the item of all items <laughs> is this neon windbreaker. And this is vintage, which I love even more. And I am going to be adding this on my blog because I love I love pink and I love color I just don't wear it enough I don't know I just can't get into it but, and I can't wait to style this I'm actually gonna be doing a blog post on 
on this and how I would personally style this neon pink. <laughs> Thank you.